Hello friends, so here is another question on full wave rectifier. So it is given that in a full wave rectifier, the transformer RMS secondary voltage from center tap to each end of the secondary winding is 50 volt. The load resistance is 900 ohm and if the diode resistance and the secondary winding resistance combined together has a value of 100 ohm then we have to determine the following parameters <coughs> first one the average load current or the DC value of the load current the RMS load current root mean square load current form factor peak factor and ripple factor okay so first we have to draw the circuit diagram okay so first the supply then the primary winding then the secondary winding okay the center tap point the load resistance the diodes two diodes here yeah. then the ground <coughs> this is the supply nothing has been mentioned about what is its value nothing has been mentioned about the turns ratio okay then then uh, load resistance it has a value of 900 ohm and for the diodes the secondary winding resistance and the forward diode resistance together it has a value of 100 ohm so let's say D1 this is D2 another thing which is very important that is mentioned that the RMS secondary voltage from center tap point to the other end of the secondary it is equal to 50 volt that is this this RMS voltage is equal to 50 volt same here because it is equally divided in center tapped full wave rectifier <coughs> okay now the secondary winding center tapped RMS voltage is given as 50 volt so the maximum value will be equal to 50 root 2 volt yes okay next everything has been asked related to the load current so maximum value of load current will flow when the voltage subjected to the diode is maximum which is the maximum value of the center tapped secondary winding voltage okay so the maximum value of the load current is equal to VCT max by the total resistance that is secondary winding resistance plus forward diode forward resistance plus load resistance that is equal to 50 root 2 by RS plus RF which is 100 ohm plus 900 ohm this is volts this is ohm that is equal to 70.7 milliampere ok then from this maximum value of load current we have to determine the average value or the DC value and the RMS value because they are all interrelated now we know that IL DC DC value or the average value is equal to 2 I max by pi so here it will be 2 IL max by pi so that will be equal to <clears throat> 2 into IL max which is 70.7 milliampere by pi which is equal to how much it is coming around 45 milliampere similarly the 
RMS value IL RMS that is equal to maximum value in this case IL max by root 2 so that will be equal to 70.7 milliampere by root 2 which is equal to 50 milliampere now this is equal to the average or DC value this is equal to the RMS value of load current <coughs> next is form factor so form factor we have already discussed in half wave rectifiers the same formula which is basically RMS value of voltage or current divided by average or DC value same thing voltage or current so here we have current values ready with us RM so it will be IL RMS by IL DC <coughs> which is equal to 50 milliampere by 45 milliampere which is equal to it is coming around 1.11 <coughs> ratio similarly peak factor is equal to peak value or maximum value of voltage or current divided by the RMS value of voltage or current here we have current values ready with us so it will be IL max maximum value of load current divided by the RMS value of load current maximum value is 70.7 I think yes we have calculated here 70.7 milliampere RMS is 50 milliampere that is equal to 1.414 that okay next is ripple factor so the ripple factor formula is <coughs> whatever whether in terms of voltage or current it is the RMS value by the average or DC value whole square of this ratio minus 1 root over okay this so here we have current values ready with us so it will be IL RMS by IL DC whole square of this ratio minus 1 root over that is equal to 50 by 45 whole square minus 1 root over so 50 by 45 we have calculated here 1.11 so 1.11 whole square minus 1 <clears throat> so basically this is form factor whole square minus 1 root over same thing because IL RMS by RDC or RMS by average value that is form factor so same thing so it will be this coming around <coughs> 0 0.484 okay this so here it was a very uh, you know simple and straightforward question related to full wave rectifier it was mentioned that the RMS secondary voltage from center tap point to the other end of the secondary it is 50 volts so directly it was given so no need of turn ratio no need of supply voltage from that we determined the maximum value from maximum value of the center tap voltage we determine the maximum load current from that <coughs> okay we determined the DC value from that from maximum value we also determined the RMS value and using these two we determined the form factor peak factor and 
ripple factor because they are all interrelated so always remember these formulas okay <clears throat> the basic formulas of dc value or average value rms value maximum value for full wave and half wave rectifiers and also for the sinusoidal supply okay and also these formulas form factor peak factor are a ripple factor okay so this is the uh, solution